G'day YouTube, this is just a really quick little video on comparing the basics between Ubuntu 21.10 on the left and Lubuntu 21.10 on the right. So of course the uh, Lubuntu is really a, a type of distribution based off Ubuntu in a way, but it's got a much lighter weight uh, desktop environment there. But uh, getting into it a little bit further, so let's just have a look at some of the raw specs here. And we can see that we are 21.10, 21.10, so the latest and greatest release so far. You will also know the kernels are uh, exactly the same. This one actually might need a, a small update there, but otherwise they are the same. Now, the where they start to differentiate a bit is actually in the, uh, the actual desktop environment itself. So we're using the GNOME desktop environment here for Ubuntu. Uh, very, very, uh, very pretty much the the standard for any Ubuntu desktop environment these days in the last few years whereas on the right hand side we're actually using a something called the LXQT uh, framework or desktop environment here so really bare bones really lightweight uh, in comparison now it's like a very Windows uh, XP-esque uh, operating system you've just got the file manager there, although you do have a little heads up display which is really nice to see so you can type a button see what you can find there that kind of thing so I quite enjoy that there uh, let's uh, move a little bit across to say the the file managers so this is where they uh, the Ubuntu one is a uh, nice with these dark color accents or tones there the now actually I should probably say that the one on Ubuntu is called files otherwise known as GNOME or Nautilus all of the above very fully functioning there whereas what we've got on the right hand side is maybe a bit more colorful but a little bit more lightweight there as well so it's actually running on the PC man uh, FM or the the QT version of the uh, the file manager there so really lightweight but you can right click you can create things you can check in the terminal all sorts of things there so much of a muchness in a way it's a little bit harder to sort of change the size in for whatever reason it's just easier on Ubuntu but hey that's just a personal preference or issue that I have there. Now, last but not least, let's just have a little quickly look at the uh, the RAM and CPU usage. So both idling out at zero to ten percent, depending on uh, on the RAM. For now, this is all on boot up. There's nothing really loaded in the background for either of these operating systems. We have uh, about uh, six hundred and fifty megabytes of RAM on boot up for Ubuntu whereas on the right hand side we've got uh, a little bit less in fact 200 gigabytes less at least on the Ubuntu side so 450 megabytes of RAM on boot up so just something handy to keep in mind depending on uh, what you're using it for for servers for older laptops all sorts of things but thanks for your time guys please leave a comment subscribe hit that like button and I do hope to see all of you guys there in the next one cheers